Welcome back, everybody. Today is February 1st, and in honor of Black History Month, Magic Kingdom has added beignets to its snack lineup. And I'm curious to know how they'll compare to the classic Mickey-shaped beignets the Disney parks are known for. Why don't you guys come along? Let's go make some memories together. little intro to the day. I didn't expect a marching band to be here. That was fun. Well, anyways, we're going to head back to Frontierland because that's where our delicious beignets are waiting for us. Now, these are not going to be your classic Mickey-shaped beignets. These are going to be Tiana's beignets. So they're going to be, I think they're more like a rectangular shape. I've been wanting beignets in the Magic Kingdom for so, so long, and I've been speculating that by the time Tiana's Bayou Adventure rolls around, they'll be a permanent staple. So I think they're testing them out to see how well they do. Ooh, I'm excited. Also, everyone's lining up for the parade, so I'll probably be able to catch the parade from over in Frontierland, or at least part of it. And then the uh, wait times are actually pretty low for today. I was checking them when I was coming in, about 15, 20, 30 minutes here and there for not the most popular things, but some nice filler attractions, some quick things to go on. So I may take you guys with me and we go do maybe Winnie the Pooh, maybe People Mover, Tomorrowland Speedway. I don't know why I feel like it, but it's nice and I feel like driving. Welcome to Frontierland. Now let's go see how long that line could possibly be for these. So if you're familiar with Frontierland or Magic Kingdom just in general, Golden Oak Outpost is where these are going to be at and they're available for the entire month of February. So from now up until the 28th or 29th this year, 29th, there's a leap year. If you exit through Adventureland here, keep walking towards Tiana's by Adventure, AKA Splash Mountain. It's on the left-hand side, right there, Golden Oak Outpost. And frankly, the line doesn't look terrible. They've got tape up for them. They definitely anticipated crowds today. These are Tiana's famous beignets, which are light, sweet, and fluffy beignets with a strawberry dipping sauce. And I also decided to get the Miname Premium Lemonade and Sweet Tea Slushy. So Golden Oak Outpost is not the most adventurous of menus. It's really just a stand where you can get fried uh, chicken strips or french fries smothered in goodness, but figured it'd be a prime location. I've been saying for a long time, it'd be a prime location for beignets, especially situated so close to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. But I think these look phenomenal. They are so heavily covered in powdered sugar and that strawberry dipping sauce looks delicious. And I've also, these are croissant beignets. It's not like a standard beignet. So I'm really curious to see how they'll measure up with the classic Mickey one, because Port Orleans, that's where the good stuff is. I'm actually gonna try it by itself before the strawberry dipping sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. They aren't quite a beignet beignet, but they're very crispy. You can see the inside. It tastes just like a beignet though. They're actually very delicious. Mmm. Dipping sauce. Mmm. It really doesn't need the strawberry dipping sauce. They're actually pretty good on their own. Like obviously it adds to it. But I think these are great. I was a little worried because I heard that not only are these not traditional beignets, but they're kind of like a frozen and then fried right then and there, which makes sense for Magic Kingdom because they have to churn out food as fast as they possibly can to feed the masses. But I really hope these become permanent. Obviously, I want the standard Mickey ones. But these are really good. And I didn't really need this, but it sounded good. It sounds nice and light and refreshing. It's basically like I think an Arnold Palmer. Uh, it's always been here at the stand for as far as I know. And I said, you know what? We're gonna get it. Lemonade and iced tea. Ooh, I'm dripping my thing. Ah, oh, it's very tart. It's strangely not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like aggressively sweet. It's actually pretty neutral. Oh, the parade's starting.
That was quite the distraction and I lost my original table. So I'm on a trash can now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give these a four and a half out of five Lewis the Alligators from Princess and the Frog. I think I'm gonna give this maybe a four out of five. This isn't a musket. It's nice and sweet and tart and it'd be really nice if it was a really hot day today. It's pretty mild out today, but it's good, it's refreshing, but I don't feel the need to like go out of my way to go get it. I surprisingly finished those without a drop or speck or sprinkle of powdered sugar on me. I don't know how I did it, but I did. I figure we check on the wait time, see what's all going on at the park. Uh, 25 minutes for mansion, that's a good one. Uh, I did say I wanna do Winnie the Pooh later. I'm just feeling in a Winnie the Pooh mood. That's a 35. Um, Speedway's only a five. I kinda gotta pick something maybe a little long so I can finish my drink, cause I still have the entire thing. Uh, I kind of want to do Dumbo. Dumbo's only 15. This is a great day to come. People Mover, 5. Astro Orbiter, 15. That's crazy. It's so slow today. This past Monday, I actually was going to attempt to come out here and do a video uh, when the park closed at 4.30, and I was going to run around like crazy and see how much like, stuff I can get done in a short period of time. Uh, but the wait times were like 40 minutes for like the most basic attraction all day, which is not normal. Since we're here in Frontierland, Let's stop by uh, Grizzly Hall where Country Bear Jamboree is. I wanna see what the exterior looks like since they've closed. I've not been here since they officially shuttered the show for the new version. They removed the timer on the clock that said how many minutes left until the next show. And we also have a new poster. Bear with us, we're rehearsing for a brand new show. If you guys haven't seen our latest video we did where we actually came to watch the show for the final time, walked around Frontierland, talked about changes that were coming with Tiana's Bayou Adventure, potentially what's happening beyond Big Thunder Mountain with Frontierland. I'll link that video in the description below and the cards at the end so you guys can check that out from there. Then you got Romeo McGraw out here and Big Al. So it's good to know that they're still actively meeting guests. I wonder if these uh, bears will get new costumes or just the ones in the show. I've almost finished my drink, so we're gonna run over to Winnie the Pooh. And we'll go do a dark ride. I love a good Magic Kingdom dark ride. Well, my hopes 
and dreams of a 30 minute wait, I think are dashed. I'm gonna ask the cast member if she thinks that's accurate because that, that exploded. <laughs> well, we're skipping that one for now. I'm not waiting 60 minutes for poo. But uh, let's go see what Dumbo's at. Dumbo sounds fun. Ah, 15, that's much better. At some point last year, like summer, they announced some kind of like scratch and sniff scavenger hunt kind of thing was coming to Magic. It was called Smellifants on Parade and it was supposed to be here in Storybook Circus. And I've not heard anything since then. I was thinking maybe in October of last year, right before the holiday season, but they've been pretty silent. Like Dumbo is now sponsored by Sensi, who was going to do the uh, scavenger hunt, which is a bummer because I was actually kind of excited to come do a video on it and just kind of see what little smells were on the little scratch and sniff card. Well, this is very much going to be a walk on, not a 15, which is even better. I usually like to seek out the one that's our channel's colors, which are like teal and orange. So I gotta go find that one as quick as I can. <gasps> I see it. It's over there. I had to fight everybody off for it, but don't worry, I got it. All right, here we go. Of course, you gotta go all the way to the top. It's the only way to do it. Whoa, I'm sliding already. I'm sliding to the edge. Now we're all the way up. Very short ride. Whee! All the way down. Fun, fun, simple ride. I love it. Magic Kingdom Classic. Next up, Tomorrowland Speedway. Standby says it's only a 20, but it looks a lot lower than that. Totally predicting, because I'm absolutely gonna be wrong. But I think I'm gonna get a red car. I don't know, either red or maybe white. Hey, hey, I was right, I did get a white car. Now let's race into the future. Me, me. Oh, 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 okay, sorry, bumpy. See, it's a perfect day out. This is exactly why I wanted to do this attraction. Otherwise, I'd skip it almost every time I'm here. Oh God. See Cinderella Castle from here. And this was one of my favorite places to go when they were still building Tron because you go up right next to it. We'll see if we can get any uh, light cycles coming through. Anything on this side? Are we gonna miss it? Yeah, dang, we missed it. Have you guys ever noticed that some of these cars are faster than others? Like I'm kind of stuck behind this family in front of me and I feel like they're going as fast as I am but I'm like trailing them the entire time. I'm like almost bumper to bumper with them. So I'm having to brake a lot to make sure I'm not actually like hitting them. Going right past Dumbo where I was earlier and coming around the bend to the finish line. Such a short attraction. I really do wish it was a lot longer or there was at least more to look at out in the, out in the racing field. Well, Winnie the Pooh claims it's back down to a 30. So I'm gonna head back that way if it's truly a 30, I'll definitely go and ride it. Uh, it was at a 45 like three minutes ago and then it dropped again. So it's kind of been a little ebb and flow with the time. So that was really low when I got here and now like everyone's here. It's a very strange Magic Kingdom day. Oh, I never noticed this. When they got rid of the 50th emblem from the Cheshire Cat statue, they added like a spiral. Looks like the heart of Tefiti. Hi Pooh Bear. Hi Tigger. Oh yeah, this actually might be much shorter than 30. There's no one in the garden queue now. This is my favorite thing to always play with. Obligatory uh, tomato popper. How tasteful, how charming, how gooey and great, and how artful when framed or arranged on a plate. I think that is a pretty good sign that Pooh should be the new ambassador for Festival of the Arts at Epcot. Have you guys ever noticed when you're waiting in this queue the Tigger says that safety is what Tiggers love best. I don't think that's necessarily accurate, Tigger. I think that's pretty false claims. There we go. Hi, Pooh Bear. Hi, Eeyore. Hi, Kanga. Hi, Roo. Hi, Rabbit. Hi, Mr. Toad giving Owl the D to the house. Come, Tigger. Come, Tigger. 
Hopefully Pooh Bear doesn't fall asleep. We enter a creepy trans dream world, right? Right? Oh no. Just become an every shape and size, 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 size. This is my favorite part, the rain one. I like how you wobble everywhere. Oh no, save Piglet! Who butt checks? Hooray! Well, I'm glad that ended up being a short enough wait for me to go and do it. I feel like that's a really underrated dark ride. As few dark rides as Magic Kingdom has, that one stands out quite a bit to me. I just think it's cute. But anyways, I think I have time for one more attraction while I'm here. I figure it'd probably be the People Mover. It's a good way to end the day. Take a spin around Tomorrowland, look at the sights and the sounds. Go through Space Mountain, maybe the lights will be on. That's always fun to see. Seems like somewhat long of a line, but not terrible. Well, unfortunately, after a handful of delays, they are evacuating the ride. They were sending empty cars through. It's gone down twice since I've been in line, so they said, everybody get out of line. Which is kind of a bummer. I was really looking forward to writing it. Well, that was somewhat of a lackluster ending to the blog, but that's okay. I had a ton of fun. I really enjoyed the snack over at Frontierland. Those beignets, not quite the beignets. I thought they were going to be. Got to ride some classic attractions with very low weights today. That's always a plus. It's a really short day, but that's okay in my book. Make sure you guys like our video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, so that you guys get updates on all of our future adventures. Give us a super like if you really love what we do. And as always, thanks for making memories with us. I've been Adrian, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.